Scene script. Have you ever pondered what lies at the core of your being? As we tread on the path of life, we often find ourselves in a labyrinth of questions, the most profound of which is, who am I? This question, seemingly simple, holds within its folds an enigma that has baffled philosophers, poets and thinkers alike for centuries. This is where the concept of self-discovery comes into play. Imagine self-discovery as an expedition into the uncharted territories of your soul. It's a quest to unearth the layers of our personality, our desires, our fears and our potentials. It's a journey to the very core of our existence, a place where the real self lies hidden under the debris of societal expectations, personal insecurities and self-imposed limitations. But why is self-discovery so important, you ask? Well, the answer lies in the magic it unfolds. Self-discovery leads to personal growth. It helps us understand our strengths and weaknesses, our passions and fears. It helps us to face life's challenges with courage, resilience and wisdom. It allows us to build better relationships, relationships that are not based on pretense or superficiality, but on authenticity and understanding. Moreover, self-discovery is the key to life satisfaction. When we start understanding ourselves better, we start living more consciously. We make choices that resonate with our true selves. And in doing so, we find contentment. We no longer seek validation from others, for we have found it within ourselves. In the grand scheme of life, self-discovery is like a compass. It shows us the way when we are lost, it guides us when we are confused, and it leads us to our destination when we are wandering aimlessly. The path of self-discovery is not always easy, and it certainly isn't linear. It is filled with twists and turns, peaks and valleys, light and darkness. But it is this very journey that moulds us, shapes us, and ultimately reveals us to ourselves. Only when we embark on this journey of self-discovery do we truly begin to understand the essence of our existence. Consider the story of a seasoned traveller embarking on a journey not just across the globe, but within himself. He was a man of ordinary beginnings, but with an extraordinary thirst for adventure. A thirst that pushed him to venture beyond the safety of his familiar surroundings. He sought not only the thrill of discovering new lands, but also the allure of unearthing the layers within his own character. His journey began in the vibrant, bustling streets of India, where he was immersed in a culture rich with history, spirituality and colour. He danced with locals during the festival of Holi, tasted spices that set his tongue ablaze, and meditated in ancient temples. It was here that he realised his resilience, his ability to adapt, and his capacity to find joy in the simplest of things. Next, he journeyed to the serene landscapes of Japan, where he learned the art of patience and mindfulness. He found peace in the meticulously maintained gardens, and wisdom in the quiet, timeless temples, he learned to appreciate silence and discovered within himself a calm he had never known. In the wilds of Africa, he was confronted by the raw and unforgiving power of nature. He encountered majestic beasts in their natural habitats and learned the importance of respect and humility. He realized his insignificance in the grand scheme of life, yet also understood his responsibility in preserving it. His travels exposed him to a multitude of cultures, experiences and challenges. Each new place he visited, every person he met, and all the trials he faced shaped and reshaped him. He was like clay in the hands of a potter, molded by the world around him. He was the same man, yet different. His journey of self-discovery didn't change who he was, but rather revealed who he had always been. For this explorer, travel was a mirror reflecting his true self, a mirror he otherwise wouldn't have looked into. Now let us delve into the story of a spiritual seeker for whom the path of self-discovery was a journey within. This tale begins with an ordinary woman living an ordinary life, much like many of us, until one day she found herself yearning for something more profound, more meaningful. She felt an emptiness within that could not be filled with material possessions or superficial pleasures. In her quest for fulfillment, she stumbled upon the ancient practices of meditation and mindfulness. These weren't mere hobbies or activities to pass the time, but tools that would, unbeknownst to her, open doors to a world within herself that she had never known existed. With each passing day, as she sat in silence, focusing on her breath, she began to notice the subtle changes within her. 
She started to feel a sense of calm, peace and tranquility that she had never experienced before. An inner voice, previously drowned out by the noise of the world, began to speak to her, guiding her, comforting her. Alongside meditation, she delved into spiritual teachings from various cultures and philosophies. These teachings, like puzzle pieces, began to form a picture of her true nature, her authentic self. She realized that she was more than her thoughts, more than her emotions, and certainly more than her physical body. This understanding did not come overnight. It was the result of years of practice and dedication. But with every step she took on this spiritual path, she found herself coming closer to her true self. The emptiness she once felt was replaced with a sense of wholeness and fulfillment. For this spiritual seeker, the journey within was not about escaping the world, but about understanding her place in it. It was about realizing that true happiness and success come from knowing oneself, from aligning oneself with one's true nature. In the end, she discovered that the answers she sought were not out there in the world, but within her, waiting to be uncovered. For this seeker, the spiritual path was a lantern lighting the way to her inner self, a path she otherwise wouldn't have trodden. Lastly, let us unfold the saga of a survivor whose battles led him to a profound self-discovery. This tale is not of a grand adventure across foreign lands, nor of a spiritual awakening in a secluded monastery, but of a personal journey through the trials and tribulations of life. Our survivor found himself in the throes of adversity, a place where he was stripped bare of all but his spirit. He was faced with challenges that seemed insurmountable, obstacles that appeared unconquerable. Yet it was in this crucible of struggle that he discovered a strength he never knew he wielded, a resilience he never knew he possessed. As he battled his personal demons, he began to see a version of himself that was not defined by his circumstances, but by his determination to overcome. He realized that he was not just a victim of his situation, but a warrior fighting his own war. He found within himself a wellspring of courage that allowed him to face his challenges head on, to rise each time he fell, to persevere when all hope seemed lost. Through this journey, he uncovered a depth of character, a tenacity of spirit, a resilience that had been dormant within him. He discovered his true self, a self that was not defined by his past or his circumstances, but by his determination, his resilience and his will to survive. For this survivor, his struggles were a crucible refining his true self, a crucible he otherwise wouldn't have entered. So what do these stories tell us about the journey of self-discovery? They reveal that the journey is deeply personal, unique to each traveller. It's not about mere physical travel, but a voyage within, through spiritual practices or overcoming personal challenges. It's about peeling back layers of self-imposed masks to uncover the core of our being. It's this deep understanding of oneself that paves the way to true success and happiness. Remember, the journey of self-discovery is not a destination, but a voyage that unveils the most profound truth, the truth of who you truly are.